hello guys welcome back to our channel so hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video guys if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends guys so for the past five years we have been giving solutions for various courses uh, in the NPTA so today I'm going to give you the solutions for week one assignment of software testing course guys so I need your support to continue the for further weeks so Please share this video with it with your within your WhatsApp group so that it will reach maximum number of students and everyone will get benefited. So hope. So that's it, guys. So now let's see the week one assignment solutions. Friends, I hope every solution is almost correct. But if you want to uh, suggest me any solution changes, please give your opinion, guys, so that we can give most probable solutions to our viewers. So now let's see the first question. Which of the following statements? Describe a failure of a software. So the failure. So here, if you see second option, a user notices that the results produced do not match with what it should be. So it can be a software failure. And a program crashes when a tester enters a valid input. A reviewer reports that he or she has found a defect in the code. So guys, I think these three could be the probable solutions. I want to include only these three solutions guys. If you feel there should be another solution or if any solution should be replaced by these, these solutions, please give your opinion guys. I am not exactly sure about A and C, so I am only giving these three solutions guys. So now let's moving on to the second question now. Guys, please watch full video. Don't skip the video, guys. If you skip the video, you may miss some changes if we do any in between. So, second one. Second question. About half the effort of development of typical software is spent on testing. But testing typically requires only 10% of the development time, not half. That means not 50%. It, it requires only 10%. So which of the following explains this apparent anomaly? So for second question, I think the probable solution is option B guys. Testing permits many parallel activities. So mark option B as probable solution for second question. Now let's moving on to the third question. So third one, which of the following are true concerning verification in the context of waterfall based development? So for third question, I have got two answers guys. The first one is option B carried out by the developers and the second one option C involves both static and dynamic activities. So I think both option B and C could be the probable answer guys. Now let's move on to the fourth question. So before getting into the solution of fourth question, so guys, with already I have told you we have nearly five years experience in NPTEL. So with that experience, we have created software testing MCQs, guys. So these are combination of previous year questions and handmade questions, guys. So we have prepared the NPTEL exam preparation MCQs. So you will get a Google Drive PDF access guys till the exam day guys. So there is no hurry till the exam day we have given the access and also there is a search option available for that PDF. So you will get a total of 150 bits guys 150 MCQs. So 150 MCQs the price is 300 only. So here you will get access for up to 3 members that is not for one person guys. Suppose in your class uh, many people will be doing the same course right. So if you gather at least 3 members for each person if you purchase with just 100 rupees then you can combine get that uh, PDF access for 300 only right. So individual price is 100 rupees only but you have to form a group, form a group of 3 members or at least 5 members guys. So if you are 5 members 
then you can get that for 500 only so the same 100 rupees per person so if you want 5 members access it is 500 guys for each person if you take 100 only similarly to the first pack and if you want only for 3 members it is 300 rupees guys if you want to purchase these MCQs so you can mail me here guys I will give my mail uh, in the comment section and also in the description box guys so if you want to purchase the PDF access please uh, give the subject as uh, software testing MCQs purchase and also give uh, the email IDs for which you have to get the access till the exam day guys there is a such option available which makes you easy to revise even going to exam also so for 3 members it is 300 guys and for 5 members access it will be 500 so for each person just 100 rupees only for 100 rupees individually you are getting 150 bits guys so think once so please message me if you want to purchase this already many people have taken taken various pdfs guys so everyone giving positive feedback so hope you understand this so with nearly five years of experience in NPTEL, we have prepared these mcqs guys it's a combination of previous year questions and also handmade questions so you cannot found it uh, find it anywhere guys only the people who have the previous year access only can collect these mcqs so we are giving that 150 mcqs guys so that means it's uh, nearly two to three years of nptl uh, sessions bits and also the uh, handmade questions guys so you'll get 150 bits for just 300 only for three members access and for five members access it is 500 only guys you can message me to this mail guys so that's it now let's go back to the solutions as usual so fourth question which one of the following statements is true concerning unit testing so for fourth question the correct answer is option a carried out by developers so i have got option a guys so now let's move on to the fifth question so fifth one which of the following statements are not implied by the pesticide paradox so for fifth question i have got the answer as option a once again a software can be tested by repeated application of a testing methodology so there may be more than one answer guys so i'm not sure with re remaining options so i'm going with only option a if you are uh, good at this question you can give your comment guys so let's move on to the sixth question which one of the following is true concerning integration testing so for sixth question the answer could be option a guys carried out by developers now let's move on to the seventh question now so what is the purpose of smoke test so for seventh question i have got the probable answer as option a check sanity of the developer system so mark option a once again so now let's move on to the eighth question guys so eighth question which of the following should not should not normally be an objective of a test team so for eighth question i think option c could be the probable one guys because uh, the test team don't want to crash any software instead they want to test the software by using native test cases but they, their their intention is not to crash the software guys so i am going with option c so if you differ with my answer please give your opinion guys in the comment section now let's move on to the ninth one ninth question and last uh, last but one question of this assignment which one of the following activities is a validation activity so for ninth question the probable answer is option b guys acceptance testing so mark option b now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question guys 
which of the following are not true of the v model so for 10th question i have got two probable solutions guys the first one is option c and the other one is option e so i'm going with two options c and e so friends these are the probable solutions regarding week one assignment of software testing course so hope this will be helpful for you guys if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends guys within your whatsapp groups and also keep an eye on this guys you will get google drive pdf access till the exam day guys you will get nearly uh, exactly 150 bits guys for just 300 only and you will get up to three members access guys you can share the money within your uh, uh, classmates and you can purchase this guys per person it will take just 100 rupees right and also if you want for five members it will be 500 rupees guys so if you want please mail me at bk179417 at the rate gmail.com if you want to purchase guys so already many people have taken our pdf guys and i have given very positive results so if you have any doubt regarding this please ask me in the comment section only if you want to purchase then only ma mail me to this mail guys any queries will be uh, you can ask me in the comment section guys so that's it guys for this video so so please keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you